Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. Uh, today is Monday, March 26th. The time that you see here is Indian time. It's 5.30 in the evening. Markets in the US are about open in an hour or two. And we are looking at a bounce back. Now we've seen that we've had a real fall and actually it uh, sort of came down to approximately the same levels as last time here in January. And so uh, although you see these uh, long uh, wicks to the bottom, uh, I think what is uh, important is that it never closed at anywhere near the bottom. So if we just zoom in on this part of the chart right here, and if you see that, you can see that the close on all these bars is exactly where it seems like support is coming in. And especially today, uh, the ES is up about uh, 31 points in the pre-markets. And so... This could be a good support point. Uh, I think today, if it manages to hold on to this sort of a reversal, we should see uh, somewhat of an uptick. Perhaps it will test it uh, that zone again uh, in the coming days. But uh, regardless, at least for today, uh, it seems like we are witnessing a very textbook style uh, support zone because that's exactly where, if you see the closing bars, if you see the closes of all these days over here, uh, the lowest is exactly at 25.90 and uh, this uh, the SPX closed at 25.88. So that's the really textbook style uh, support coming in with some higher volumes. But it's obviously too soon to say. But uh, what I wanted to uh, make a point was a couple of things. One is you can see in the pre-market, the VIX is down 2.36. So this is even though we know that the SPX is going to go up, if you buy a call option, my sense is this VIX is going to come even further down and your call option is not going to see the kind of returns because this volatility is going to get sucked out of these options. And so you've got to be careful of that. So if you do buy a call, anything on the call side, it, it should be a call spread because then at least the implied volatility to some extent can be blunted uh, by the short call uh, that will uh, come above the long call. The other thing to do to take advantage is look at stocks that have been beaten down if they've been strong stocks and the, you know, the greatest example is Amazon. So if you look at Amazon, uh, Amazon went up to a high of 16, 17. And then in this latest uh, bit of chaos uh, uh, created by the trade, uh, uh, trade tariffs and trade wars, it's come down to 14.95. That's not bad. So you can expect Amazon to have a good bounce and go up. But once again, if you buy a call option, you're probably not going to see the, the kind of returns as you would uh, if you buy if you make it a spread and so that's uh, something we can look at you might see some pretty good uh, volatility crush in this uh, series here on 4th May you're going to see some pretty good volatility crush on this one on the first one uh, which is the 29th March so those are things that you don't want to touch but I do expect yeah you can see the bid ask has already gone up by $30 so this is definitely something that uh, would uh, would be doing well today. However, given the option prices, well, you may not want to come all the way here then. Let's just go to say the 11th, uh, where the, the 6th April with 11 days. And even there, you can see option prices are very, very high. So you want to sort of, if you're doing a, any trade, you want to make it a spread. That way, at least the implied volatility uh, crush will be somewhat blunted by both the long and the, and the short. So that's it for March 26th, Monday. And we'll speak to you soon. Thank you.